Lions don't trust their enemies. Fish don't trust their enemies. Why do we trust ours? And the sad thing is, we all have the same enemy in common. The devil that rules this earth. Three, two, one. Trusting our enemy is a deadly game and it will get you killed every time. And you people on the comments on my Grease video were wrong, wrong, wrong. It wasn't the brother taking a selfie like I told you. He was punched first and then he got the whooping dudes but Never trust our enemy for like Iron Rust if it's sold to their wickedness. And y'all some devils on my comments. The ones that were lying. Cause devil just means deceiver. And I'ma call you a devil to your face. And you're gonna continue getting blocked with your false, fake accounts. For this to happen everywhere we go. Like I said before, the message to the black man is not to exist. Now for you to rush a man like that. And beat a man like that. Just because it... You didn't like him or he was too close to you or whatever the case is you're thinking in your mind Whatever you do is gonna come back to you and I feel sorry for anybody in contact with you Never trust our enemy for like iron rust of swords weakness I pray death upon you and everybody you know and everybody's room for you And I pray that the Lord strikes you down quickly and this guy says he wasn't there But he did have some friends there That's why you can't go out like that with them Edomites if you would have went out with some Israelites Everybody would have came home. Never trust our enemy. For like iron rust of, so is his wickedness. Now let's watch the Lord strike and watch the Lord work. For behold, in those days and that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them for me, my people, and for my heritage Israel, who they have scattered among the nations and they have parted my land. Everybody fighting for Israel right now. And that's what he's talking about. Everybody's putting their hands on this. For by fire and by sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Isaiah 66 and 16. That's how he's going to plead. So when you you hear that word plead that's what it means i will gather all nations and will bring them down to the valley of jehoshaphat and plead with them there for my people and for my heritage israel who they scattered and they parted my land and they have cast lots on my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink like that slave books used to teach us that they sold our women for wine yeah and what have you to do with me old tyree and zidon two african nations and the coast of palestine the middle eastern will you render me a recompense pay me back and if you recompense me speedily and swiftly when i return your recompense upon your own head because ye have taken my silver and my gold and carried into the temples my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have you sold to the Grecians that you might remove them far from their borders. So that's where all these people truly are, they're Grecians. Behold, I will raise about the place where you have sold them and will return a recompense upon your own head. So that's telling you another thing. The children of Israel are still in the place they were sold. I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall send them to the Sabines, to the people afar off. For the Lord hath spoken it. Proclaim ye this amongst the Gentiles, which we are doing right now. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all men of the war draw near. Let men come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your plucking hooks into spears. Assemble yourself and come, all you heathen, and gather yourself together round about thither. Cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be weakened and come up into the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will sit judge all heathens round about, and the valley of Jehoshaphat will be judgment. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full. The fat overflows of the wickedness is great. That's saying that this wickedness is overflowing. That's we sue multitudes and multitudes of the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. There's no escape in the Lord. The sun and the moon shall darken and the stars shall withdraw their shining. The Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heathens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel goes back to that Israelites right but it's for everybody so shall you know that I am the Lord your God dwelling in Zion my holy mountain then shall Jerusalem be holy and that shall no stranger pass through it her anymore no strangers no enemies and no heathens and those are the other nations in the Bible death to the heathens all praises to the most high back to the laws if you're native Negro or Latin that is